what's going on guys, it's iPounder here, and as you can see, I, today I'm going to do a Call of Duty series. Well, it's not really a series, it's kind of a mini-series. I'm going to be uploading a video every day, but it might be, the videos are only about five minutes long, so it's not really like a big series. Um, sorry I've been away again. I was actually waiting for this day, the day after I got Call of Duty, so the day after Call of Duty came out, to start again. I was going to do it all with Black Ops 2 and FIFA 13, but I just thought, you know what, there's no point. I have got FIFA 14 and I have got Black Ops 2, so I was just waiting to play um, both of them a little bit to try and get used to them so I can do other series. I'm going to bring back my underrated section of players, with the goalkeepers as well, because I know I only did one goalkeeper, which was Begovic, and everyone, well, 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 loads of views on that, and I just want to thank you guys again for that, because that was incredible. But yeah, I'm going to start this series with the first gun that I got. It's called the Honey Badger, and it's quite a funny name. Um, for you guys who haven't got the game yet, or are getting it soon, or are getting it for Christmas, this is the gun that you might start out with. Um, you have a choice of three guns. Like I think you've got a sniper, a SMG, and this. I chose this because it had the integrated silencer. Um, I like playing search and rescue, so that's probably that's actually why I got this gun. Is because so I can go straight back into it. So I can go straight into a search and rescue. Well, it's actually search and destroy, but it's called search and rescue now. It's um, it's like an adaptation of search and destroy. Basically, instead of you just getting you shooting someone, they die. They they they're gone for the rest of the round. Um, you shoot them, they die, they drop dog tags, and um, you, if you, you have to collect the dog tags so they can't respawn, and you can collect your own team members' dog tags so your own team members can respawn, which is actually a really good thing, because sometimes, you know, when you turn a corner and get snipered, but from the opposite side of the map, so no one can actually collect your tags on their team, your teammate can just come through, revive you, and you start again, so you just don't go back to the same place, so that's quite good. Um, it took me a few games to realise that the accuracy is terrible. It doesn't look too bad at the weapon stats, but it is truly horrible. Grip, full grip, sorry, is highly recommended by me. Um, it's still a little bit dodgy, but wow, does it help. I'm just going to go into a standard team deathmatch. Uh, this, this video shouldn't go on for, for too long, five to seven minutes. I'm, I'm not even going to play a whole game. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pause, I'll stop it half through, I'll leave half through the game after I get, I don't know, like five, ten kills. Getting into a game will be a problem. This is a live comm, so that's why it might be a little bit out. But yeah, it's honestly, I, I, I do apologise for not being on my channel for the past three months nearly, I think it's nearly three months. I know I said I'd start again, but as I started again, I realised that all, the, all my ideas had either been taken already by other people, or they just there wasn't much point in doing them, because the views and the subscribers just wouldn't come in. The subscribers I've already got are brilliant, I mean, they're commenting on videos, and they're commenting on my, uh, a lot, mostly I get comments on my Rockstar Game Capture um, help video, uh, I've noticed that, but that's a lot of external people, but some of my subscribers and even viewers, they comment on other videos, like I got a few comments on um, like Remy Kebea and Asma Begovic saying I'm beast player and stuff, and I really do appreciate that, because I, I like, I just like hearing what you guys have to say, and even if it's something short like beast player, it's just nice to hear. So yeah, we're going to a game on, what do we have? We're waiting. It's on Strike Zone, Team Deathmatch. I'm, I, I know names of maps, I don't know what maps they are until I actually play them, but I know like, the names of them, so Strike Zone I've heard of. Uh, this, all, I, all I keep remembering is it's got a world famous hot dog in front. Um, I'm just trying to remember exactly what this map like looks like. I think I know. I think I know this map. Uh, there th th used to be a bar going across the bottom, but now it's a little thing in the bottom right that fills up as it gets, and it goes obviously sitting like getting wet, but as you go into the game. Yeah, I know this map. This is, this is actually one of my favourite maps. It's, you, I died too many times on it, but it's still... They, they, they've changed the... Um, so if you click select on, on Xbox, it, it comes in the top right now, and so all the kills, they come in the top right, and so they can, it used to be in the bottom left, and now it's top right. They switched the scoring and that around, I believe. At least I have. So there's this little place here that you can... Um, so everyone always goes up there. Not like done this. Oh, the, the ammo. The ammo is a very big problem. If you run out of ammo, it's got quite a high fire rate, which isn't actually a problem, but it's quite inaccurate as well, which kind of makes it a problem. Um, the high fire rate, it can be a good thing, especially in a, like, there's quite a lot of uh, gun battles in this one on one battles where you're quite close to someone. And that was, that was the first lag I've ever had on Call of Duty. This one, anyway. That was really bad. The SATCOMs is like the UAV, I think. I'm not actually quite sure. I haven't quite crossed them. I haven't sent the link yet. But yeah, the high, the high.
higher fire rate is a problem because of its lack of accuracy. Because of, because of so it's because it's so inaccurate, you run out of bullets so flipping quick, and you, you have to pick up guns like as you can see here. Pick up some guy's bizon. I don't know what this gun is. I've never actually used it. But it's called a bizon. It's not not too bad. It's quite powerful. Doesn't look too much weight. Five hundred bullets left. Don't be angry that much. Not that much. Yeah, ammo is a big problem. I recommend you try and get some ammo boost or something to do with ammo, so you don't. Nah. Yeah, so you don't have problems. Um, I got I got a dog. It's quite cool. You got you whistle your dog and she spawns in front of you and you go around. They're hard to kill as well. They they take up about quite a, a large amount of bullets to kill. Bear in mind you're a dog. And uh, when it, and they only take one bite to kill someone. Yeah, I've got my um. This is called I don't know what's called. It's called a field order. But basically, you do what that says and you get a care package. So I'm just gonna lay down here and wait for someone to come through, and hopefully we get a care package. Yeah, see, look, I got a satcom and a care package box. Oh crap! I've just realised I just stood inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my bad. I, I I've done that a few times. Whenever I get field orders, I always like fuck up the care package, bro. Uh, what was I doing? There was a dog. That's not too bad because I've actually got a dog on me now because one of those ones are ridiculous. But yeah, this gun is really powerful. It, that's the that's the one plus side of this gun, I'd say. It's extreme power. Yeah, as you can see there, my dog's just gone to kill someone and kill Jack. Yeah, the gun's extremely powerful. Problem with the the recoil was not too bad. Um, ev everything on the gun's not bad, but th it, but it's powerful. Um, and the ammo is a problem. So yeah, I'm going to end my video there, guys. I'm just going to back out of the game because I don't want to be in it anymore. Yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you've got any feedback on what gun you want me to do next, um, I have an idea of the guns because I, I want like a few guns, so I'll just go through them like that. But if you want me to do a specific gun and a sp or a specific class, like if you want me to do like a, I don't know what's it called, is it a tack knife? No, it's not, it's not a tack knife. I might do that one. The knife. <laughs> if you want me to do a knife, I'll do that. The bright shield, maybe I'll do that. Uh, snipers, marksman rifles, SMGs, LMGs, assault rifles, anything. Just tell me what gun. If you want to see a specific class and then if you want to see a specific gun, just leave comments in the section below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys probably either later on today or tomorrow with the next episode in this or maybe even a, um, the first episode in my FIFA 14 series. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.